Okay, boys and girls, drum roll. Time to fix this disaster. And this disaster, I clear this area so I can move my plants from the original greenhouse so I can climb and <laughs> replace the top of it. Wish me luck. <sighs> okay, let's do this thingy. So, so far progress. So hot, you guys have no idea. Um, I cleared a little bit and we're gonna keep going. Now where I'm sitting is a botanical garden. Because I moved everything here. So it's fun. After I'll replace the roof, I need to repot like a 300 gazillion <laughs> plants. So okay, let's keep going. Okay, the bad wolf is down. And now we're gonna see if I can work in Cirque du Soleil because I need to get on and put it on. Wish me luck. And I'm done. You guys, I just need to attach the zip ties right here. Oh, almost died. <laughs> you almost lost your host, but I'll live. I've been through worse. Here is my old one. And I think I need the there's this gap between two uh greenhouses, so I think I need to cover that because it gives too much sun and it that particular gap is in the uh the hardest time, like from eleven to two o'clock the sun really hits the vandas and everything too much. So I will have one tunnel. And you know what I figured out? When I got tired, I sat down here on my blue chair. Um, that 60% shade cloth in Florida is a perfect tanning formula. Because our sun, during the day, you cannot be in the sun longer than two hours. You will be a beet. You will be red. So, and sitting here, I, I, I don't know, do I need orchids on here or should I make my tanning um, area? So, congratulations to me. Now we need to, yeah, by the way, here's a good view of my uh, do-it-yourself holder. This is a wine bottle holder, the one that you kind of can squeeze and uh, it's like collapsible whatever you call it uh, it was attached to the roof and it works a uh, great for many plants to hang so this is the first day i need to finish the rest of it and it will be a brand new greenhouse and so one week later Nothing happened, <laughs> so uh, I'll have to wait after this show this weekend to start um, reorganizing and putting them all back where they belong. There's too much going on. I don't want to stress myself. So they're fine in here. I did change the shade cloth. This is March putting here for you. Such a show off. She was chewed up a little bit by um, all kinds of creatures. You can even see him there. So they're all tucked in right here. And they're doing pretty good. So they're safe and happy. There's my coughing beautiful brew. He loves doing that for you guys. As you know. So this area now is all fixed. And you know what? The problem is, I like it like that. <laughs> I don't want to put them in. It became my uh, phone doing stuff on tablet kind of spot. To interrupt that doggy choking. So, uh, it became a very, very relaxing and 
kind of rejuvenating spot here. Uh, this is, I'm doing cleanup. I'm throwing away plants that I don't want. And, well, the main reason is they're dead. So, <laughs> uh, for right now, I moved my Phalaenopsis here. Uh, we'll see how they will do. Uh, it's dry right now. We had, we had no rain for, what, five days? There he is. Hello! Crowd's favorite. A pain in the behind. Number one. Number two just came right there. Go away. You, right here. If, if it's one, then it's another. I mean, right? Crazies. Love you. Yeah, I don't know why. Uh -uh, no reason. Okay, so back to plants. So it's dry before I kept them in the lanai because of the reason it was too wet for them. Like this leaf needs to go. Maybe. Okay, I'll do it later. So they're, they're blooming. They're happy. A little guy right here. <sighs> I don't know. The tag is right there. I believe that's the one from um, Accent. Is it? Yes. So this weekend, before I forget, because I do forget things, not the bad things, <laughs> there will be a great event happen to be a very interesting event, I think, for uh, orchid growers. It will be an owl... Um, put the flyer on it. I only have not very updated. Here she is blooming. Chocolate drop. A flyer, Fort Myers, Florida. There's a place called Addison Ford Estates. It is a botanical garden. Not botanical garden. It's the residence of Addison and Ford. So, but they have a garden uh, connected to it. And they started doing these events. By the way, Martha made a mount herself. She just came to me and said, Mom, I want to mount this. And I was like, whoa, like it. <laughs> so, and they're doing this event for, I don't know, three, four years, five maybe. And this year it's big. They're going to have, uh, you'll see the list. I'll be there, Cruel Smith be there, Miranda will be there. There's a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of pelican farms if you like them. Look at this girl go, isn't she amazing? This is Landate, she opened the second spike. Simply gorgeous and very fragrant. Here's the tag for you guys. And this is of course from Sun Coast. So. Suncoast is not doing their fall sale this time, but there's this great event and I mean OFE and a bunch of other companies. I'll put the uh, the the list, okay? So Palmer will be there. Lots of good things. This is my what I call grandchild. plant. My daughter who followed her husband to Chicago, he's in the Navy, left me her plants and it is sitting beautifully in the Gene Simmons, yes, Gene Simmons, not the, well, I always tell him, tell me the truth, you just did some plastic surgery. Uh, there's a gentleman, we know him really well in Florida, he makes these baskets and I was privileged to be his neighbor on two Tam Miami shows. He's an amazing guy. He's a great cook too, by the way. He would make uh, like baking stuff, like uh, sweet stuffs for us. And here, my child, it's blooming and it's sitting so beautiful in this basket, isn't it? And I think it's dancing ladies, there's no tag, but so if you ever, I don't know if he still does the shows, because I know he was slowing down with that. 
grab some of his baskets. He has prices that are funny. I was even telling him to raise the prices. Uh, and look how beautiful. This basket, if you are wondering about the how long it will live, this basket is probably some four years old. Okay. Okay. Here comes Bruce again. You know, he is a the heart of the party, no matter what kind of party it is. Let me move this a little bit this way. Okay. So this table here is very actively blooming. This is, I don't know what it is. Maybe morning glory. Oh, I do have a tag. I'm afraid this tag is going to fall. Oh, well, that's the tag. You got it. Anyway, it's blooming. It's gorgeous. There was a couple of them, but they broke off. I think she tried to produce another one, but of course my thrips and lack of attention to them did the job now you you are also a known hero isn't she something yeah you know i had lots of problems here with hurricanes so lots of my plants lost their tags which is fine you don't need to have a tag to be gorgeous okay and another one right here is working on quite a few that is the one that I'm very excited for it is from some coast has a long name how stunning is it the oh that's from another flower I'm like why does it has like six petals yeah so she is there's one here and there's another over there and I think there's somewhere else so these people will have to wait until I come back from the show and oh look at you you're gonna bloom too that's nice you spray them from oh that's a George King on the top of everything Yoo-hoo. okay over there though is a little hero Let's go over there. So, by the way, the plan is to use this on like uh, this part and then lattice on the bottom. I do have lattice, so maybe we'll just use what we have. Let's see. It's a little almost wild looking growing dendrobium here. So, here I am. This little thing never bloomed for me it's really tiny see has really nice leaves I think it's the wrong spot for her over here a little too hot it has pretty nice foliage that's the name of it you guys follow me on Instagram I posted if you don't please do <laughs> uh, I posted the picture of it the camera doesn't like focusing on the flower super cute no fragrance so what else is here nothing i think there's some brussel blooming here it looks suspicious to me these uh, petals are really suspicious she's pretty but these spots Maybe I need to check her for virus. Yeah. Oh, look at you. You decided to bloom. That's nice of you. The lime sherbet. It was funny. This is one of those plants that I was trying to love. Would never, ever, ever do anything. And then I just put it here. And it blooms. It's like a third time it's blooming. So yeah, lots of clean up here, but there are things that I need to take care of first. Oh, hello. Here she is. Again, if you followed me on Instagram, you already saw her picture. Let me give her a little highlight. Yeah, this is a, one of the plants from Monroe Coken sale it was a 
pretty significant person here in the orchid world of Sarasota. He was the president of Sarasota Society for a while. He very suddenly passed away. It was actually an accident. And the family was selling big collections, so I got some. The name. Hmm. I hear you say it. Still can hear. What's this? Pretty nice bloomer. She does bloom like three, four times a year. Beautiful, right? And then Mark Anthony makes her even more beautiful. Okay, guys, this is it. The rest is not really. Well, there's this lady. She just opened up and been chewed up a little bit by the creatures. So, I hope to see you this weekend. It will be a great uh, event. I wasn't expecting it to go and blow that much. But it will be great. I hope to see you there. And you have a wonderful, wonderful... Oh, there's one more blooming there. Wonderful day, and I love this girl. She is such a good girl when it comes to blooming. And I don't have a name. So, you guys enjoy your day. Hope it's easy and no problem. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.